Hi everyone, I'm German and welcome with nothing to gain. The third studio record by the band Violence. Today we celebrate the 30th anniversary of the record, so I to go back and see if it still holds up or not. I've recently reviewed their first record, Eternal Nightmare, so go check that video out. My story with this band is quite simple. I found them in 2008 when I was in elementary school. Back then I was a massive fan of Machine Head and I wanted to know what the band members did previously. On Nothing to Kane we have the classic lineup of this band, so Sean on the vocals, Dean on the bass, Perry on the drums and Rap and Phil on the guitars. This record was actually recorded in 1990, even before the second record was released. After this record Rap Flynn went on to start Machine Head. Violence broke up, so every member except Sean went on to form Torg. And later in 2003, Rap and Phil reunited in Machine Head for 15 years. They've played together. A few years ago, Violence reunited, but without Dean on the bass and Rap on the guitars, everyone else came back and recorded an EP in 2022. Go check it out. Going back to nothing to gain, the production is alright, I do enjoy the sound of the guitars, bass and drums, they are mixed well, message is diverse, the songs are mostly about society and violence, structure of the tracks is between basic and advanced, it means that we've got an intro, verse because chorus, verse because chorus, bridge, chorus, outro, sometimes it's slightly different, every song has at least one guitar solo, and when it comes to the music here, it's thrash metal. The album starts with the track Atrocity and the first thing you can notice about it is the drumming. The drummer is killing it throughout this entire record. I enjoy his double bass work, the speed of his playing, the groove, the precision, just everything. Next we have the bass and it's audible. The bassist mostly follows the guitars but we have lots of moments here and there where he deviates from that stuff and it's very cool. The guitar work by Rob Flynn and Phil Demel is exceptional as usual. I especially enjoyed the guitar solos on this record, they are very unique and memorable. The rest of the guitar riffs are either more atmospheric and groovy or just thrashy, fast and straight to the point. Finally there is Sean with his vocals and I don't know what happened to him but on this record he sounds just the worst. While some of his singing is okay, most of it is just bad. He sounds like he has constipation and he wants to shit but he can't and half of the songs are just ruined because of his vocals. I cannot stand this. Why? Why would you do this? We all know that you can sound good because you've done it before and after it, so why? Why does this record has the worst vocal performance from this dude? I want to know more. Give me some information about that. Going back to the song Atrocity, well this one isn't that fast. The intro is way too long and annoying, but I do enjoy the main guitar riff the bridge, just the verses are just so weak, the vocals on the verses suck ass, just the bridge and the chorus slaps, everything else, <laughs> yeah, the music is okay, 7 out of 10, 12 gauge justice, this is the best song on the record, period, I love the gang vocals in the chorus, the intensity of this song, the speed, the thrashy guitar riffs, the guitar solos, the bridge, so good, it's just a bummer that half of the vocals here are just garbage and straight up unlistenable. If the vocals were different, this would have been a classic perfect song, but it's not. Just 9 out of them. Ageless Eyes, from the music standpoint, this song is a classic. I do enjoy the main guitar riff, the verses, the chorus and the bridge. The bridge with the guitar solos goes just so hard. I love those melodies so much. And then we have the vocals. They're just... Worse, worse than on the previous two songs combined. I mean, this is not a total tragedy, but half of this stuff is just so bad. Like, it's hard to get through, but the music was amazing. 8 out of 10, Pain of Pleasure slash Virtues of Vice. Now, those are two songs combined into one. I do love the atmospheric intro at the beginning. It's the best part of the song. Then the middle part, well, it's not that great mostly because of the vocals, and that second song, Virtues of Vice, that one is just average, so yeah, 7 out of 10. Killing My Words, this is another amazing song from the music standpoint, the bass work, the drumming, the guitar riffs, the solos, wow, just wow. And then the vocals, the vocals are awful, just awful mostly. We still have some moments where the vocals doesn't sound annoying, but that happens rarely, so 8 out of 10. Psychotic Memories, 
This is the worst song on the record, and not because of the music. The music is actually quite nice, I dig the atmosphere they're going for here, but the vocals are just so, so annoying. Like, what are you doing, dude? Is this a shit post? Is this a joke, like Morbius? Like, are you joking? Because you sound like you're joking, because this is awful, just awful. But the music was nice. 7 out of 10, no chains. Now this is my second favorite song on this record. I love the music so much. The drumming, the guitars, the bass, the solo, the solo in the bridge. It goes so hard, so memorable, so fun to listen to. And the vocals, the vocals are actually fine. Or as Ozzy Osbourne says, fine. They're fine, they're okay, they don't annoy me, so great job, Sean, great job. 9 out of 10, welcoming party slash this is system. Now this is the longest track on the record, I think, over 6 minutes, and it's the second weakest one. Like, I do enjoy the intro, it's a little bit too long, but it's atmospheric, it's fun to listen to, but then the vocals, yeah, most of them are okay, but there are some moments here that are just atrocious. Yet again, the guitar work, the drumming and the bass work carries on this song, 7 out of 10. And the final track, Color of Life, this one brings back some of that thrashy intensity. I do enjoy the guitar riffs here, the bridge, the chorus, just some of the vocals. <laughs> yeah. 7 out of 10. To sum it all up, the consistency is stable, the flow is fitting, groupability, yeah, it's a good record. It could have been so much more. If this band had a more passionate vocalist who can actually write stuff in key with the music, then I would enjoy it way more. As of now, I think this is the weakest record by Violence, but it still has some amazing guitar riffs and amazing guitar solos. Also the drumming and the bass work slaps as well. The highlights here are 12 gauge justice, ageless eyes, killing my words, no chains and color of life. Celebrate the rest by spinning this record today. It deserves your love and attention. That's all from me, thank you for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, follow me on my Instagram description, I will see you in my other videos. Also consider becoming a member on my channel, second so make an album review on my beard Doom MIDI cover. That's all, bye!